ancient times, people used cut off human skulls as cups to drink out of. An AI robot named Sophia was declared the first robot citizen, having gained legitimate citizenship in Saudi Arabia. But when a journalist asked the robot, will you destroy humans, please say no, the robot replied, I will destroy humans. What's up Seekers, welcome back to the channel. You guys already know what we do here, man, but if we don't, if we're brand new, we break down scary and creepy videos, man, on and now, on the web, from YouTube videos to TikTok videos to IG videos, anything weird, usual, unexplained, you can find right here on this channel. Just want to thank the Seekers who's been tapping in with us, man. Greatly appreciate that, man. You guys are showing support, subbing up to the channel. I see you guys, man. Like I said, you guys seeking their truth. That's what brought you um, guys to this channel today. Let's do what we do best, Seekers, man. Seek the truth. Netflix have just released a brand new drama based on one of the biggest crimes to ever happen in the UK. Mm. It focuses on two 10 year old girls, Holly Wells and Jessica Chapman, who went missing in 2002 in Soham in Cambridgeshire. Search for them went on for a massive 13 days and it completely gripped the nation before sadly the search was called to an end after their bodies were found. Evidence was linked to 28 year old Ian Huntley who worked at a local school as a caretaker. He was already known to be the last person to have seen the girls and had spoken to the UK press and the police about this. The Netflix drama focuses on his then girlfriend Maxine Carr who provided Huntley with a false alibi. They were both found guilty and Ian Huntley will serve a minimum of 40 years in jail. Maxine Carr was given a 42 month sentence for perverting the course of justice. She served 21 of these months and was given a whole new identity. It has since been reported that she is now married and has a child of her own. The case had a huge impact in the UK as Huntley was known to the police. The Netflix drama is released as these two girls now would have been 31 years old. Have you ever? It's freaking crazy seekers, man. The fact that people like are willing to cover up other oh, people doing those heinous acts, but I don't know what be going through those heads, man. Like the person told them what they did and they just like, yeah, I'll, I'll cover for you or just lie like that, man. And to, and to hear that and, you know, she got found guilty and they gave her a whole new identity, bro. That's like, it's like if you can help her, man, if you can cover up what she did, bro. You know, some people, they ain't going to agree with that, man. Oh, bro. That really gets the mind freaking turning, man. I can't believe they gave her, like, a whole new identity, bro. Seekers, what do you guys think? Ever had one of those nights where you go to bed but wake up after a few hours and can't get back to sleep? While it might not seem like it today, that was actually the normal sleeping pattern in the medieval period and before. Mm -hmm. Instead of sleeping through the night like we do now, people in the medieval era and other pre-industrial societies slept in two phases, also called biphasic or segmented sleep. People would go to bed really early because nighttime was generally unsafe, so they'd sleep for a few hours, then wake up, usually between 11 p.m. to 1 or 2 a.m. for what they called watch or vigil. They use the time for activities like reading, praying, or even socializing, and then go back to bed for what was called second sleep. Mm -hmm. So what changed? Well, the Industrial Revolution shifted daily schedules. For example, you'd have factory workers who worked all night. Also, artificial lighting transformed our relationship with the night, giving us more time for activities after nightfall. This man ordered it. That's crazy. I never knew when I made it. It was too called two phases of sleep, bro. The more you know, Seekers, man, like I said, that's why I watch these videos with you guys. It always expands my knowledge, research, like, with each and every video. Well, now if you think about it, it kind of does make sense for Colin because you guys, they probably thought, you know, some people try to break in and do something, try to do something to the house, man. So that's why they had to break up their sleep in two phases so they can be on watch, you know, to protect themselves. But I never knew that, man. Seekers, have you ever, like, just waking up in the, in the middle of the night? You can't go back to sleep. That happened to me a couple of times, man. Tell me down below, man, if that happened to you guys. Take away while murdering his girlfriend. In May 2016, Ayana Kassane's lifeless body was discovered in her apartment that she shared with her boyfriend. Her boyfriend was Blake Libel, who was a successful comic book creator and graphic novelist. Mm. Ayana was 30 years old and had been born in Ukraine. She was also very successful. She had studied law. She'd also worked as a prosecutor and a model in California. When the pair met, Blake was already married to his wife, Amanda. 
Blake's wife was actually pregnant at the time and Blake decided to abandon her to be with Ayana. Shortly after, he also got Ayana pregnant, but it's believed that after she gave birth, he became very jealous about the attention that her baby was getting from her. One day, Ayana's mum was looking after their baby when Ayana stopped responding to calls and texts from her mum. She obviously started to get concerned by this and called the police to do a welfare check on her daughter. This resulted in a hideous discovery by police. Please stop watching for this next bit if you are squeamish. Ayana was found completely disfigured. Many of her body parts were missing and her blood had been completely drained. Her scalp had been removed and the autopsy showed that she actually survived eight hours after this happened. I can't even imagine the absolute horrors that this poor girl went through. Oh, Disturbingly, there was also evidence that Blake had ordered a takeaway via Postmates while this was all going on. He had apparently demanded that the order be left outside his door. He was thankfully sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. That man's freaking insane, bro. He did all that man to his freaking... The mother of his freaking child, bro. Knew the sounds over the day, man. When he left his freaking first wife, man, she was pregnant, and he just left her to say, no, I'm going with her, and this, he got her freaking pregnant as well, but he got jealous because of the freaking baby, man. Why, like, why do people do that, bro? Like, when a freaking baby or something's born, bro, they kind of they can't take that they get the most attention. Like, what do you think? There's a baby, so obviously there's going to be more attention that freaking baby but the part that got to me secrets man is when he said he ordered post meat bro just ordered food like it was nothing just said leave it out the door all that was going on while he did that to a man just saying just gonna order some food as well to show he had no remorse man of what he did secrets bro this world is crazy secrets man be aware item number one Wait. You, you don't remember what she looks like. A Barbie left on the grave of his murdered child might be used to solve her cold case. Six-year-old Rosie Tapia was abducted from her bedroom on August 13th, 1995. Mm. Her mother had gotten home at 3 a.m. and checked on Rosie in the bedroom that she shared with her siblings. They were all sleeping soundly with the window open and her mother went to close the window but didn't lock it because the noise would wake the children. Literally just two hours later, her mom woke up and got a feeling that she needed to check on her children. Rosie was gone and her body was later found floating in the nearby canal. Police determined that the screen had been pried off from the outside and being so low to the ground, an intruder could easily get in. And unfortunately, any DNA on her body was contaminated by the canal water. And after Rosie was buried, the family found a single Barbie doll sitting on her grave. And police are hoping that DNA from the doll can be used to solve the case. Advances in DNA technology give hope that one day Rosie's case can be solved and over 60 people have been swabbed, but no one's been arrested. There are multiple suspects in this case, including a man that was seen walking with wet jeans on the morning of Rosie's death, and this man in the hat and sunglasses that carried Rosie back to her apartment after she hurt herself on the playground the day before she died. Mm. I do a deep dive into possible suspects and theories on the murder of Rosie Tapia on my YouTube channel, Celestial Solvia. Scary facts I bet you didn't know. In the original Little Red Riding Hood story, the wolf forced her to eat her grandma. After Katrina McGall watched a true crime documentary about a serial killer who used his basement as a torture dungeon, she found out she was living in the same house. And her landlord was the serial killer's mother, who didn't mention the bodies that her son kept in the basement before he was arrested in 2002. In ancient times, people used cut off human skulls as cups to drink out of. An AI robot named Sophia was declared the first robot citizen, having gained legitimate citizenship in Saudi Arabia. But when a journalist asked the robot, will you destroy humans, please say no, the robot replied, I will destroy humans. Follow for more. Imagine being- What the hell, bro? They gave a robot citizenship, man? How come this ain't make national news seekers or something, bro? It's my first time hearing that, man. See, that's why I see. I feel like we're going too far when we give a robot citizenship, bro. And the freaking reporter asked me to destroy humans. And the robot replied, I will destroy humans or something like that, man. They should have just freaking cut it off there, bro. See, AI and, the, and that technology stuff, seekers, man, they're taking it a bit too, no, too far, in my opinion, man. That's crazy, bro. Robot has citizenship, man. The more you know, bro.
being held captive in a basement and when police arrive you think you're free. You call out for help but they leave you there to be killed. In the 1980s, a girls in Belgium started vanishing. The local community in Brussels was understandably unsettled. They had no idea a monster was living among them. Mark Dutroux was reportedly abused as a child. When he became an adult, he turned to a life of crime. He was involved in substance dealing and selling stolen cars. He married early and had two sons, but he had many affairs and started abusing his wife. They separated and he married his second wife, Michelle Martin. The pair would go on to do the unthinkable. Mm -hmm. In 1985, the couple had a disturbing hobby. They would kidnap and are women. A friend of the couple called Jean also helped them. Mark had managed to convince him that he owed him a favor. On June 7th, 1985, they took their first victim. This was 11-year-old Sylvie D, who had been walking home. Men jumped out of the car and grabbed her and kidnapped her. And when they got her home, they awed her. They took a Polaroid picture of her before setting her free. They took many more victims before eventually being called by police. The girls that were set free went to police and provided them with information to make the arrest. Mark, Michelle and Jean were imprisoned for a short time. Excuse Mark, me? however, managed to manipulate the prison officials into thinking he was disabled, so he got many benefits. He was also able to state that he couldn't sleep and got prescribed some sleeping tablets, which he would go on to use for a sinister purpose. Mark was released in 1992 mm -hmm. after serving just three years in prison. This time he learned a lesson, to set no more of his victims free. He built a dungeon in his basement for his next victims. Between 95 and 96, he would kidnap at least six children. He kept them in his basement, tortured them and essayed them and used the sleeping tablets to sedate them. It was at this point that- My mother told the doctors that I would- It's freaking crazy seekers, man. How the hell, he only served three years, bro, after all that freaking disgusting things he did? And how did he trick the, the freaking police officer to, and to think he was disabled, bro? And they gave him the freaking secret pills, man, like, to help him with his next phase of his freaking plan, bro. It's like, man, back in the day, bro, freaking, like I said, the justice system works sometimes, and it, and it doesn't, bro. Like, what the hell, man? You would think he would learn his lesson, but he just got back out and just said, no, I'm just going to take it a step further and just end it all after he did those freaking horrific acts, seekers. People got to be more freaking aware, more vigilant. You never know. He had people helping him too. We don't know we're going through people's mind nowadays. I was mentally incompetent. Therefore, they thought, you know, she won't know what she's talking about. She's got the mind of like a, a child. But I had microcephaly, which is a small head that my brain didn't develop right. And I'll never mature past a six year old's level. When I go back and watch this interview, it's hard not to sympathize with Gypsy Rose. I know we all have our opinions about what she did, and I get it. Violence, murder is never the answer. But can you just imagine how manipulative and scary her mother was in order to successfully convince doctors that her daughter had all these conditions and diseases and then make her go through more than like 30 surgeries that she never needed? I know the story has been dragged out for years, but now that she's out and I'm re-watching the videos, how does this even happen? Scary facts about the ocean you should know about. If you pass a certain level underwater, you can no longer float to the surface. You have to use all your strength to swim back up, which can use up too much oxygen and suffocate you to death. If you drown, you will most likely never be found. There's things swimming way deep under you you can't see. It has collected dead bodies from each age in the history of mankind. You're literally surrounded by sharks from every angle. You just can't see them. Mm -hmm. A large great white shark was tagged and tracked it disappeared and scientists noticed that it suddenly went deeper and deeper underwater to depths that would probably crush it. Stranger still, the temperature was hot, very hot, as in the tracker is probably now in the stomach of another animal. Mm. What the hell ate the freaking large great white shark then, bro? Those facts about the water, man. Hey, seekers, man, I just want to know, man, if you guys are, like, swimmers and stuff, would you guys, like, you know, go out that far in the water? I'm not that type of person. I, I say at a certain level, bro, because I, <laughs> one of my worst fears, bro, is drowning, is drowning, so, you guys, now I'm with you on that, man.
It's crazy secrets, bro. Things you know. Well, they say we haven't even, like, um, discovered, you know, we haven't even freaking researched, like, half our, you know, the world on our planet, but we haven't been able to go to those depths, so we, we don't know what's down there. What do you guys think is down there, secrets? kid in the dark for 30 minutes man you guys don't know how that's probably gonna affect that, that kid when she was older bro it's like all the other kids in that and they just said hey the mom not here so you're just gonna shut it down bro and this i mean I guess she's just gonna get it when she get her man we're going through people's minds bro you just don't leave a child in a dark room for 30 minutes bro Whew. okay she didn't freaking break down that freaking door bro all his name is that freaking daycare, man. You got to get your kid out of there, bro. She should shoot him, bro. Something has to go down. Stop scrolling because this has to be one of the strangest and scariest skinwalker encounters ever. Mm -hmm. TikTok user Samael said that he was walking across a parking lot when a man called him by his name. He turned around and realized that he didn't recognize this man and had no idea how he even knew his name. Things got even weirder though. The man then asked him for a dollar and said that I know you only have one in your wallet right now, which was true. Samael said that at this point his heart was jackhammering. He froze there and didn't know what to say, so he said, yeah, man, I only got a dollar, but you can have it. He gave him the dollar, and then the strange man said, Yo, do you want to see something? The man then allegedly lifted up the back of his shirt and showed him his tail. Then he got on all fours like an animal and crawled away. See, could you guys believe that skinwalker stories, bro? I've seen you guys comment about that. found out that her husband was cheating on her, so she cut off his private part. In 2015, Feng Lung from China had discovered that her husband was sending emails to another woman. Mm. Her husband, Fan, had used her phone to send these emails, but he forgot to log out of his account. Fan was asleep in their bed, and without thinking twice, Feng grabbed a pair of scissors, walked over to him, and cut his private part off. His private part was completely detached from his body. Fan was rushed to the hospital, and doctors were able to successfully reattach it and treat his injuries. Mm. Feng was unhappy that the doctors were able to do this, so she snuck into the surgery center and attacked her husband for a second time. She did the same exact thing, but this time she threw it out. Oh my God. There was blood pouring from Fan's groin area, but he still went outside to go search for it. As he was running outside, Feng ran after him and tried to attack him, but that's when he punched her in the face. Hospital staff were able to separate the two, and Fan was treated for his new injuries. Doctors nor police were able to locate his private part. Mm. Fun was arrested and charged with grievous bodily harm. The thing is, how did they just allow that, allow that to happen again, bro? He was in a freaking... After the surgery got reattached, he just did it again. Like, there was nobody around, no doctors or nothing. Yeah, I'll live without us speaking prop for the rest of his damn life seekers. One of the most gruesome stories I heard, bro. Like, damn, man. I'm not saying cheating's bad, but she took it to the freaking way extreme, bro. Owen 
Williams from Newcastle, Pennsylvania, was arrested on Thursday because she gave her boyfriend's 18-month-old daughter lethal levels of fingernail polish remover, button-shaped batteries, 20 water beads, and a screw. What the? the little girl's name is Iris Rita Alfara. Here she is pictured with her mom, Emily, who she lived with. Her father, Bailey Jacoby, had visitation rights, and the girlfriend, Alicia Owens, lived with the father. Mm. So on June 25th, 2023, Bailey had gone to the store and he received a call from Alicia saying that something was wrong with Iris. So he rushes home, notices she is completely unresponsive and quickly calls 911. She was rushed to the UPMC Jameson Hospital in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, but then she was airlifted to a children's hospital in Pittsburgh. She died four days later due to organ failure. Now, Alicia, of course, had a story. She told police that Iris had hit her head after she apparently cramped up and then fell off of her bed. But like I said, the autopsy showed that Iris had ingested button-shaped batteries, water beads, and a metal screw. And the cause of death was listed as lethal levels of acetone in her bloodstream, which of course is the main ingredient found in fingernail polish remover. But what incriminated Alicia was what they found on her phone. For mm. months, she had been searching things like information on household products that could cause a child serious harm or death, and beauty products poisonous to kids, as well as medications lead, leading to cause accidental poisoning deaths in children. So she did all of this research for months and then she carried out a plan. Mm. Now regarding the dad, there was nothing throughout the investigation to show that he had any knowledge or involvement about what happened to the baby. He was questioned multiple times and was cooperative. Owens faces a homicide charge and was also slapped with attempted homicide, aggravated assault of a child, endangering the welfare of a child, and other offenses regarding conduct leading to the baby's death and other acts of abuse in months prior. And reports state that when she had court on Thursday, she was just completely flat, dry-eyed, and emotionless. Her mom, Emily, posts all kinds of pictures and videos of her on her Facebook, and you can tell Iris was her entire world, so my heart just breaks for her. I will let everybody know what happens to this monster. I impose six. She was researching all that all along, bro. Like, this should be freaking. Like, something, man, that goes down, but when you're freaking researching, like, things like that, bro, it's like, bro, she made a whole plan, bro. <sighs> to that freaking little baby, man. So she was just, like, feeding it to her, or maybe the baby just thought it was. Like a little snack or something, man, and she was just giving it to her, bro. I'm the hair, like, but she had no remorse, bro. I'm telling you, seekers, man, these people, man, sometimes when they do these acts, bro, they truly don't think about what they're doing, man. They really just don't care, bro. How can you be a person like that, man? You took somebody's freaking child away from them, bro. You don't have one, one tear shed, bro. You, you just don't care. It doesn't affect you at all, bro. Consecutive sentence of, of life imprisonment I'm without six? the possibility of release or parole. This is Michelle Anderson. Michelle and her then boyfriend Joseph McEnroe were extremely jealous of her brother Scott and his family. Michelle also believed that she was cheated out of money due to the fact that her brother was more successful. Mm. On Christmas Eve 2007 in Carnation, Washington, they went to Michelle's parents' home, killed both her mother and father dragged both of their bodies into the front yard and waited on Scott and his family to arrive. When Scott did arrive, the couple unalive Scott, his wife, and their two children. Scott's wife survived long enough to call 911, which led to their initial arrest, though all four of them passed away. Both Michelle and her boyfriend were given six consecutive years to life without possibility of parole. The law mandates that I impose six consecutive sentences of life imprisonment without the possibility of release or bullet parole, plus a sentence of enhancement of 60 months on each count as well. Scary ass animals you've never heard. What the hell, man? She freaking seekers. We can put that down. She did that to a whole family just because she was jealous of her brother. So they went to her freaking pants off. They ended that, ended them, then waited for the brother to show up. Just ended the whole freaking like bloodline, bro. That's a that's evil, heinous act, bro. What the hell? It's like, bro, jealousy, man. 
bro. It can it can make you do freaking evil things, bro, if you judge of a person. That's why it's best to not think about another person, just worry about yourself. Because you're gonna drive yourself crazy, man. If you think about another person, what they got and what they can do, it's just it's never gonna end well, seekers, man. Don't have je don't have jealousy in your heart, bro. Heard up part two. This is the saber tooth blenny, and if it bites you, it'll inject heroin into you through hmm? its fangs. This fish is commonly kept in aquariums, but what most owners don't know is that it injects opioids into its predators in order to escape. Ooh. Weirdly enough, just like those drugs, this venom works as a painkiller, and scientists are actually studying it to see if it can be useful to help humans. So next time you're getting mugged, don't try to hurt your attackers, just get them high like the blenny does. I never knew that. I feel like that existed, bro. Terrifying facts you never knew. The last fact will make your jaw drop. Science says that if you can't fall asleep at night, then you are awake in someone else's dream. Hmm? People who stay up late and get up late are more likely to become psychopaths. Wherever you are, someone has died in that exact spot. Oh. Most laughs you hear on TV are from the 50s, which means you're hearing dead people. The Dyatlov Pass incident. Nine hikers died under mysterious circumstances, their tent slashed from the inside. The Hinterkaifeck murders saw an entire family brutally slaughtered on their remote German farm, with no motive ever discovered. Mm -hmm. If you follow me, you won't encounter someone invisible in the next 24 hours. Albert Fish, an American serial killer, boasted that he killed in every state and claimed to have had over 100 victims. Mm -hmm. What makes him even more sickening is that he sent letters to his victims' parents to tell them how good their children tasted. That's sick, bro. Over oh, 100 victims, man, in each state? They called them, bro? What the hell was going on back then? Scary facts yeah. you never knew. You should get drinks with no ice in restaurants. Mm. Because according to most studies, most restaurants do not clean their ice machines. And most of their ice is contaminated with mold, poop particles, and other bacteria. Selfies are responsible for more deaths each year than sharks. In 1518, there was a medical crisis. It was called the Dancing Plague, which saw hundreds of people dancing in the streets uncontrollably in a trance-like state for two months. Mm. They didn't eat, didn't drink, and most died from exhaustion or heart failure. There was no cure. Scientists believe it was either caused by mass hysteria or by a fungus called ergo that was in the bread. Hopefully no fungus has ever turned us into dancing zombies. Comment the word I love too and let your keyboard finish the sentence. Psychologists believe that people who watch scary movies for fun and to fall asleep to are potential psychopaths. If your toothbrush is kept in the bathroom, there's a high chance it has a lot of poop particles on it. You can see who blocked you on TikTok by clicking share, sliding all the way to the very end, click more, and click block. If nothing pops up, that means no one has blocked you yet. There's a species of jellyfish that is immortal. This means it could theoretically live forever. I mean, as long as it's not eaten or injured. If you like and follow me, you'll get smarter each day. Terrifying. Those fact seekers, man, tell me which one freaking blew you away, bro. To me, it's like that dancing freaking phenomenon. I'm not gonna have to freaking research that seekers. They would just break out dancing. And it was like, they said they did it for like two months straight. What the hell? And people were actually like passing away from that, bro. Hmm. The more you know, like I said, seekers, man, when I watch these videos with you guys, bro, it expands my knowledge, reach, bro, and the fact that there's a type of jellyfish that's immortal bro that's crazy man i think something like that even existed i'm gonna have to research bro have to do some follow-up research on those two freaking cases seekers true facts that will keep you up at night part four decapitation doesn't always immediately work there have been some reports of humans living up to 30 seconds after their heads have been removed from their bodies mm. And there was a chicken in the 1940s named Mike who lived for over a year without his head. There is a whale called 52 Blue which sings at such a high frequency that it is unable to communicate with the rest of its species, making it the loneliest animal on Earth and dooming it to die alone. And finally, mummies weren't actually rare until the late 16th century, when the British decided to start buying mummies to grind up into paint. 
Oh, and they also started eating them, believing them to have special medical properties. Tag a friend if you're watching this at night, and follow for more. That's crazy. See, because I got some comments here um, about the freaking, you guys know about Mike the Chicken. Y'all guys asked one of the comments that how the chicken's nervous system is in the head. It's like way, I guess, lower. That's how it freaking survive. I don't know, but that's still freaking crazy to me, bro. How some kids about a decapitation, man. And the fact about the freaking um the whale, like the frequency is so freaking I guess high that he can't communicate with nobody else, man. Just imagine that seekers like you basically you can't communicate with your own freaking you know species, bro. You're gonna be here lonely for the rest of your life, man. Just really think about that, man. Imagine if seekers if you can't communicate with you know your brothers or sister mother, then like you just couldn't talk or they couldn't understand you. You truly feel alone, bro. Just think about that seekers, man. That's it for this video for you guys today, man. If you guys made it with me to the end, you're a true seeker, man. Seeking a true show. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe. Um, also hit that post notification bell so you always get notified when I upload a video. Tell me, man, like I said once again down below, should I start um a Discord so you guys can send me yeah um TikTok clips you guys want me to check out, man. We could be in this together, y'all can help on um, me make these videos. To get out on for you guys. You guys can catch it in the next one, and I'm out. Peace, seekers.